Hey there, Cosmonauts. Uh, welcome to another one of my Slab City updates. Uh, I am currently recording this on uh, both the GoPro session that uh, was given to me by Dana and my normal Yeecam. Doing a little side by, not necessarily side by side because it's not exactly side by side, but doing, doing a comparison to see which one I like both. Uh, or which one I like better because I'm filming with both at this time and I will probably make a, a, a actually a comparison type video later on that's not going to be part of this video but I am at least uh, finding out which one I like better by filming with them right now it's kind of a nice day today which hasn't been the case for most of the week most of the week it's either been cold or cold and rainy um, have had very little sunlight so I haven't had much uh, solar power or anything like that um, and it actually got so bad that I decided oh I'm gonna take the bus into Brawley go into Starbucks and charge and, and do some computer stuff there um, and yeah as I'm walking through um, Brawley uh, a couple of cops roll up on me and they tell me that they had a call about uh, um, somebody walking on a street that was a couple of blocks away from where I am and I was indeed on that block and they're like yeah and we and it matches your exact description and I guess as a white guy wearing a kitty hat um, in a highly Mexican or Hispanic neighborhood I guess that is means to call the cops anyways they uh, ran my ID and stuff like that and I went on my way so yeah I got apparently while walking while white and brawly is not acceptable um, speaking of unacceptable uh, I am pretty sure that somebody uh, took EJ's dog Dash um, and what actually happened was is after the black sheep gathering time uh, a bunch of people rolled in started shooting out fireworks dog gets a little skittish around fireworks runs off um, didn't come back right away which is not something super alarming because Dash has been known to crash on other people's couches from time to time including mine um, just once in a while his dad goes to bed a little too early so he wants to I mean it's a slap it's time to party and for a lot of dogs you know this is the one time that they get to be off the leash a lot and running around and actually doing dog stuff so it wasn't too alarming at first uh, then all of a sudden no dash for a couple of days uh, nobody had seen him we got a hold of uh, or tried to get a hold of animal control because they've been out here um, animal control is really lousy with their phone messages um, because apparently it tells you that it's not in the off they're not in the office so I hung up and then sent an email message but apparently if you listen to the end of the message it'll tell you to press zero and during business hours and you will be directed so like maybe they should lead with that message um, hey if it's business hours press zero and you will get through if not please leave a message rather than oh we're not in um, so then I did leave an e sent an email with a fair amount of description of what's, what the dog looks like as well as that it's been chipped, um, type of color that it's been wearing, no response whatsoever. Um, Audra, a uh, lady who's got uh, um, uh, developed a relationship with, with uh, the people called and nope, not there. So really that pretty much leaves that somebody stole Dash and that is fucking unacceptable and it really makes me sad that these are the, that I don't live in a country where when people steal animals like this you can't just fucking cut off their hands and to be honest with you uh, that might be something I'd be willing to go to jail over because stealing somebody's dog especially somebody's service dog is just fucking bullshit 
Uh, if you are watching this and you took Dash, understand you are a piece of shit. And I'm going to be posting up pictures on here. And I know I have lots of friends that watch this and travel. And if any of you happen to see Dash out there, please take, take Dash away from this person. Uh, and uh, make sure that Dash gets back. You know, whatever you want to fucking do to this delinquent that fucking steals people's animals, you do what you want. But yeah, if I find out, I may be just damn well willing to go to fucking jail and you ain't gonna have a hand no more. Yeah, that un un fucking acceptable. Oh, all right, let me let me let me look back at my notes. I know I got better. Uh, oh, all right, yeah, yeah. Um, so I am gonna buy a trailer and make it a, a kitchen especially for like when it rains and stuff like that it the trailer that I'm looking at has a working refrigerator I haven't had a refrigerator in ever what would that be like uh, a stove and oven um, and everything works in it so and I'm getting a pretty good deal on it so one of the things that I'm gonna do is be selling some things on eBay um, and maybe you'd like a cause collectible and uh, so some of the things that I'm selling is a uh, uh, Canon G10 uh, video camera or camera with video and uh, I did some work with that it wasn't uh, 780 or, or 720p or, or 1080 so I just really don't use it especially now that I have these other things so you know and I was looking online and it's worth you know 150 200 dollars probably closer to 200 dollars with all the attachments and stuff that I'm going to be selling with it so that'll help uh, pay a good chunk of, of my uh, uh, trailer costs uh, I'm also selling a piece of artwork that I did uh, for one of the slab city galleries it's on a saw blade and it is actually a picture of uh, Causes homeward way for girls and one of the Palo Verde trees here and speaking of Home for wayward girls. I actually had because of the rain and stuff like that I'd slept on the inside of it and been spending a fair amount of time inside there um, So I painted the inside of it a well nice nice lovely pink color uh, it's it's Gonna go with the theme uh, maybe I'll snap a picture and throw it in here as well um, let's see what else am I selling. Uh, I'm going to sell that uh, American flag that I had hung upside down uh, in sign of distress in, in one of the videos. Um, and maybe a few other things. I don't know yet. But if I do uh, put things up, I will put them down in the description. Uh, the auction will close a week from today, Sunday. And yeah, let's see. I think that is about all I have this week. So, peace, love, and all that hippie jazz. Send Kyle some money on PayPal so he can buy himself something to eat. And he won't have to sell his body to Albanian men on the street. Where broke hippies living out in the desert, no money and no shoes. And he may smoke the marijuana, but at least he won't spend it on booze. If you enjoy Kaz's videos with their off-the-grid DIY.